Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Mac and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add redirects onto your membership website. Coming up. All right, so in the previous video, I showed you step-by-step -step how to create a dashboard for all your users. In fact, let me show you what it looks like. So this is the dashboard. It uh, gives you a welcome message here and it also tells you what membership level you are. And it also has some important links over here on the right. And then here we have a video and some description text. Of course, you can go crazy with this and make it even look more awesome. All right, so let's say you want to direct people to this particular dashboard page as soon as they log on to your membership website. So the way to do this is by coming over here to uh, your dashboard and clicking on wishlist member. So here on wishlist, uh, you just wanna go on to advanced options and you can also get to this by just coming over here to your setup. So this opens up uh, more links over here, just below uh, wishlist and all you have to do is to click advanced options, right? So here on advanced options, this is where now you want to go specifically to redirect. So you click here on redirect and here now we can decide how you want to do your redirect. So by default, we have this message here. So in fact, let me just click here on configure so you can see what is happening here. So by default, we have this message here saying, hey, username or first name, uh, thanks for joining our membership level, blah, 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 blah. So let's say you want to have a specific message. So this is where now you can say, okay, after registration, you want them to go to a specific page. In this case, we want them to go to our dashboard. So I'm gonna come over here and choose my dashboard. Click on save and closed. And now my page has been set up. So after the user registers on the website, this is where they're going to go, straight onto that dashboard. And on this dashboard now, this is where they can uh, listen to the welcome message. It tells them what membership level they are. And uh, over here, they can start going to the specific areas of the website that they have access to. So this is a really cool way of uh, setting up your membership website. It reduces confusion and uh, also uh, any other questions that you may be getting regarding how the website works. So now back over here, I wanna show you what else you can do. So you can also set this to go to a specific page after logging in. So here on login in, you can say, okay, you know what? I want people to go to a specific welcome page, for example, and then have a button which then takes them to the dashboard. Now, why do you want to do this? Maybe you want to have a specific welcome page which has a totally different message, uh, which is perhaps maybe talking about uh, one of your offerings. And if they don't take on that offering, they can just click on the button to go to the dashboard. And then from that, they can move on to other areas of the website. So this is what you can do here after logging in. So again, setting it up is very straightforward. You wanna click here on configure and this now will give us a specific page to go to. So right now I haven't created the page. And by the way, this is very important. You wanna make sure you create these pages first because they won't show up here. So you wanna create the pages first and then after creating them, uh, it's easier now to find those pages here. So you can go ahead. Now here, I don't have the welcome page. So I'm just gonna use the dashboard uh, for this example. Now. Here's also another option. You can also specify a URL. So let's say, I don't know you why you may want to do this, but you can have this URL go to another website uh, elsewhere on the interweb. So you can add it here, but of course I advise that you keep everything in here. But of course the option is there if you want to use it that way. All right, so I'm gonna hit save and close. Now, as you can see here, we have even more options after logout. So after logout, maybe perhaps you want to uh, send them to a page, which uh, is uh, say your blog, uh, for them to take a look at other or latest uh, blog posts so they can go to that one. So you can also set it up here. But again, as I mentioned before, you wanna make sure that you have the blog page all set up here in order for you to redirect to that page. Now here is an unsubscribe confirmation. Again, you can have a specific page, which gives them a message when they unsubscribe. And over here, you can also have a resubscribe uh, confirmation. Again, uh, this is a page that you can set after they have resubscribed. So as you can see, Wishlist Member is really, really powerful. It gives us all these settings for us to really customize our website. So uh, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and set up all these pages to really make your website uh, easy to use, easy to navigate, and uh, I'm pretty sure all your members will be very happy once you set all these pages up. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.